Hey there, cat fans. Welcome to the Master Podcast. I'm Rebecca Zish. That's Tim Black. Hi. Hi. How are you doing, Tim? Very good. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. <laughs> <laughs> this is our annual January 1st episode. Yes. It happens every year that we do an episode for January 1st. Just like clockwork. <laughs> <laughs> Just like calendar work. Oh, okay. But for those of you who don't abide by the random and arbitrary calendar that we have set mm. for ourselves. Yes. Uh, January 1st is uh, the first day of the new year. Yes, it is. And we've done various types of things to celebrate or to honor, to mark the occasion of the first of the year mm-hmm. in past years. And uh, today we're going to do something brand new. We are. And again, for people who don't abide by the calendar the rest of us do, you may not know, but there is such a thing as a wall calendar Mm -hmm. and a desk calendar. Yes. And that these things commonly feature cats. Commonly. Yeah. And for all the cat fans out there, you probably are giving these things as gifts (laughs) all the time. Yeah. I am never at a shortage. Me neither. For cat calendars in my life. And so we thought we'd go through what's out there, what's out there in the marketplace. Yeah. And uh, see if we have any opinions to share. Yeah. I actually have three cat calendars that I've gotten from my mom. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) And, And she got them for free. They're they're like from Alicat Allies. Alicat Allies, great organization. Yes, and from VFW. Do you have any ASPCA calendars in there? Not this time. I usually get one of those. Okay. I usually get one from Best Friends Animal Sanctuary. Okay. Uh, and one from Alicat Allies. Those mm-hmm. are the, those are usually the free ones I get. Okay. Yeah, and what's funny is I really want to get in there with you in your calendar using habits. Yeah. Because they'll send those free ones in May, like way earlier in the year. I, I was just going to say, uh, I've got three calendars here from Mom. Uh, these are just the cat ones. These are just the cat ones. <laughs> I got 14 others. <laughs> are they all animal? Yeah, or they're they're all, just... yeah, they're all animal. Yeah. Yeah. They're, you know, you got like, I don't know, puppies and various uh, birds and things like that horses yeah horses <laughs> horses definitely yeah okay yeah. and mom sends you all of these she sends all of them wow because she doesn't need to mark her days no but I, you do well, on well, every possible wall in your home well i yeah i think i think mom just uh she takes uh, advantage of the opportunity to get rid of it all oh i see <laughs> He likes them, so we'll send them all to him. Okay. 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 You're known for enjoying a calendar. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, and I have another one. Another one sent from mom. What? <laughs> because she hadn't sent you enough? Yes. She sent me a calendar. <laughs> As a gift? As Christmas. a gift. <laughs> Even though she'd already sent you, was I it know. 17 calendars? 17, yes. <laughs> Sorry. I know. Woo. Woo. It's <laughs> <laughs> funny. So this was one of your gifts, this calendar right here. Yes. This calendar titled Cats. Yes. 2018. Mm-hmm. It's a 16 month calendar. That's another thing that um the nonprofit organizations do with their free calendars. They yeah. make them they make them the 16 or 18 <laughs> yeah. or even the 24 month calendar. Uh-huh. So that you you're gonna really want to use this one because you're getting more value from it, right? Yeah. So this is a 16 month. Right. That's an unusual length of time for a calendar, isn't it? That is. I wonder how they decided on 16 months. I don't know. Did we haven't opened it up here? We don't even know what month it starts on, but um, but there it it's just called cats. cats. And boy, they are not uh there's no there's there is truth in advertising. <laughs> yeah. Uh the pictures on the back of the calendar indicate that for every month what you will get is a picture of a cat. Of a cat. There's yeah. no organization here. There's no. no types of cats. 
No, I know. There's kittens and cats. Yeah. And there's they're... action shots <laughs> and like portrait studio shots. It's all just but, thrown yeah, on in there. You could have uh, a, a month uh, that is. That is. This is apparently a kitten and a sweater. <laughs> but on another month, you might have, looks like two cats outdoors rubbing heads. I like that picture. That's, yeah, that's my a favorite good one. Way. There's one of a mama cat sort of cuddling a grouchy looking kitten. Mm -hmm. And then there's just, you know, your standard tabby sitting on some grass. I, yeah. <laughs> there's really no, I don't know how they came to the conclusion of these pictures. Yeah, I know. I, where, there should be. A theme? A theme. <laughs> in, in, in the months, like, there should be, I, I would, I would like to see a Halloween. A Halloween cat. <laughs> sure, yeah, that's a thing. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah, a, a cat. Even if it's a black cat, which we don't appreciate the stereotyping, right. but a black cat wearing a hat, yeah. and by a pumpkin. Absolutely. Something. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, I can't tell from these photos on the back which one what of these month? goes with which month. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's true <laughs> of all of these. But if you, like Alley Cat Allies, they will, um, mm. you can actually, they have a contest every year, and you can submit mm. pictures of your cats to try to get in the calendar okay. for the following year. Um, and so when you look at an Alley Cat Allies calendar, you're looking at someone else in the country who is a supporter of this organization as well, one of their cats. Okay. Sometimes it's actually cats that a supporter, um, if they are also a caretaker of a feral colony, mm -hmm. they will... They might take a picture of one of the cats in their colony and submit that to the contest. Well, that's nice. So this one, within the Alley Cat Allies calendar, this is clearly somebody's cat who lives in their house. But some of them you don't know. There's a cat named Sherlock who's just out in some leaves. <laughs> He's having a good time. And this is November. November. See? So that makes sense. That's thematic. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Um, I always enjoy, too... Um, should have brought it with me, but the ASPCA calendar, they usually highlight every month at any pet, not just a cat, yeah. but any pet that is uh, owned by one of their staff people. So and it could oh. be anywhere within the organization. It could be someone from their uh, legal team. It could be someone in finance. It could be someone who does work in an ASPCA shelter somewhere in the country. And so they, that's, and then there's always a, an adoption story okay. that goes with it every month. You know, why this cat? Yeah. What's the great story behind this cat uh, or this dog or this bird or this guinea pig or this mm. horse, you know? And so you, you get a real sense of who those animals are. Um, but this, this simple cat that's, calendar, yeah, yes. 16 months distributed by Dolgan Core LLC out of Tennessee. Gosh, I, I don't know. I think they honestly just had like, yeah. I, I think they, they didn't have to pay any money for right. these photos. Right. Are these just photos they got off the internet? I, I don't know. I don't know. It's interesting. Okay. Look at, what were you going to say about the VFW? There's a VFW. There's a VFW. There's a picture of a horse. Yeah. And then the next one. Picture of a nice kitten and a puppy. A kitten and a puppy. Yeah. Speaking of which, um, one of the calendars I saw in my in my research mm -hmm. is called Pets and Friends. It's published by Gladstone. Okay. A Gladstone calendar, it says proudly right on the front. This is a big grid calendar, which is, you know, really good if you have a lot to write down yeah. on your wall calendar. It's good for families. The Pets and Friends idea is that uh, every, and there's a picture for every day, <laughs> every day, every day is there's at least two animals in every picture wow. and they could be the same species or different species. Okay. So these are all animals you may have as pets and they're friends who are yeah. other pets and they're super cute. But I, I really appreciated that um, on the back cover, they highlighted this one kitten <laughs> <laughs> that's standing up and raising his arms. He's an orange fluffy guy. Yeah. And he's he's basically saying like, hooray, pets and friends. <laughs> and he looks really excited to be a part of the calendar. Well, um, yeah. And I found this one 
in my research. And then I also found, I also found from the, from also from the Gladstone company, uh -huh. I found kittens and friends. Now, this is a desk calendar, a day-by-day -day calendar. Okay. So, again, you're getting the picture in every day, which is good value for your money. Sure. Um, what I like, too, is they tell you who the photographers are. All of the photographers, uh, all of the photographs in these and friends series by the Gladstone Company okay. uh, are photographs by Jane Burton and Mark Taylor. So, they actually put it right on the front there Okay. that these are photographs we paid a photographer to take. <laughs> you know, they were curating this calendar, as people say, uh -huh. right? So on this, every single day of the year, you get a picture of a kitten with another animal of a different species. <laughs> and what could be cuter? It actually says it advertises itself as absolutely adorable. Uh -huh. These are all inspiring portraits of kittens with their pals. Oh. Um, so, you, like, you, kitten with puppy, sure, right? Yeah. Kitten with a rabbit. Rabbit. Kitten with a turtle. <laughs> uh, kitten funny. with a guinea pig. Kitten with all species of rabbit. Kitten with all species of dog. It's it's pretty great, but I really like how. A lot of the times they match the coloring. Yeah. So like here's a here's a tuxedo kitten with a black and white rabbit. Yeah. And here's an orange kitten with a guinea pig that's the same color. I like because you know some guinea pigs come in that sort of calico colors. Uh -huh. And so here's a calico cat with a calico guinea pig. Nice. It's awesome. This is, is a great calendar. It is. If you work someplace where you have a desk where you can put a day-by-day -day calendar, I, I think this is a good choice, this Gladstone Media mm -hmm. calendar. You get 365 of these of these pictures, and I think coming to work in a bad mood, I think this would lighten <laughs> it up every day. Absolutely. Don't you think? Absolutely. Yeah. So it's also, it's printed with environmentally friendly soy inks. Okay. Yeah. On forest... Stewardship Council certified paper. Huh. This will run you fourteen ninety nine in the U.S. bookstore. That's a bargain. But I don't know. You might be able to get it discounted online somewhere. So each one comes with a kitten and some other animal. Every picture, every day. Every day. Every day you get a new picture when you tear it off yeah. of a kitten <laughs> okay. with another animal. <laughs> Wow. You like a Siamese kitten? You might see him there with the little fluffy puppy. You might. Right? Yeah. You like an orange kitten? You might see him with a guinea pig. You might see him with a dog. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. I love kitten with turtle. That is, that, that's cool. <laughs> that's going to be a special day, really, when, that, when, that, when it comes up for, yeah. for that. I like this. This is a good picture of the kitten with a rabbit where the kitten's sort of standing on the rabbit. <laughs> Maybe the rabbit was moving during the photo shoot. Oh, and the kitten was like, so. stay. <laughs> Just stay here for one sec. They've got really fast shutter speed. Like just, <laughs> just one second you have to stay here. Right. Um, speaking of day-by-day -day calendars, uh -huh. I found another one that's like like the one your mom said, you just titled Cats. 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 It's a 2018 day-by-day -day calendar. It comes mm -hmm. in a little tiny box, and um, it's magnetic. So mm. it's a day-by-day, -day, but you, like, stick it on the fridge or on your mm -hmm. filing cabinet at yes. work. You know, something like that. Um, this is from Andrew's McNeil Publishing. You get a picture and a lovable quote about cats <laughs> for 365 days this will only run you 9.99 that seems like a bargain wow. for all the content it seems like uh that's a that's a loss leader <laughs> i know the magnet and the paper right? yeah for nine nine it's pretty small okay. it's pretty small my my pictures are deceptive uh -huh. but it was only maybe um i don't know four by five okay it's pretty small yeah yeah um, we were talking about 
uh, ASPCA, different nonprofit groups. I think this is tricky. So they'll send out a free calendar. Yeah. But there are also calendars in the store that they sell, right? Yeah. So there's an ASPCA calendar uh, called Cute Kittens. So you know, you know what they're going after here. <laughs> right. It's published by Graphique. Um, and it's a it's a 16-month calendar. And every month you're just gonna get at least one, potentially three kittens, uh -huh. usually two, <laughs> okay. from what I can tell. Right. They also seem to be seasonally themed. Ah. Um there's a September picture <laughs> where That's the kitten right. is sleeping on an apple for the teacher for yeah. back to school. Uh -huh. You know, there's spring, there's winter, um, but always going to be some kittens. Mm -hmm. So you're not going to get any grown cats here, just in case you were worried about that. You don't want any grown cats. Here, this would be the February picture. There's a kitten inside a, a red, what do you call that, watering can? Yeah. But it's got hearts on it. Okay. So, like, that's going to be your February picture, <laughs> right? Yeah. I mean, sure. Yeah. If you prefer pictures of kittens to pictures of cats and you want to support the ASPCA, that's a way to go. You know? Okay. This one will run you $14.99. Seems like I'm off the magnet. Should be. You're right. That should be more. Huh? I know. Yeah. Huh. I don't, know, I don't know how they make any money doing this. Because I'm telling you. <laughs> I don't know. I'm telling you, uh, calendars are not as widespread as they used to be in the past. Like you used to go to the store, used to be able to go to Target and mm -hmm. find calendars. I uh, went to Target. No calendars. Huh. Nowhere. I found all the calendars I'm talking about today yeah. at either Office Max or Barnes and Noble. Okay. So I think at Office Max, they're thinking, oh, people come here to shop for their office supplies. Mm -hmm. They may need a calendar. Why not? Barnes and Noble, we're in the, we're in the business of selling printed things. Yeah. So calendars fall under that umbrella, sure. I guess. I guess so. Yeah. Yeah, I guess Target's not in either of those businesses. Yeah. They sell some of that stuff. Yeah, they sell some of that stuff. Not in the calendars, though. Huh. Well, you know, people have their phones. Yeah. That's that, exactly. That's my point. Yeah. They, uh, their Google Calendar. Mm -hmm. like they sync their Google Calendars. Isn't that a thing? Yeah. yeah it sounds like a thing. <laughs> well, even so, if calendars aren't big business anymore. I sure found a lot of them. So I'm barely getting started here. Now, here's one. <laughs> Here's one called What Cats Teach Us. Oh, I've seen this one. Life's Lessons Learned from Our Feline Friends. It's yeah. an 18-month calendar. They're going all in. <laughs> and every month, there's a photograph of a cat or cats. And then just a, a thoughtful phrase that okay. somehow this picture of this cat inspired. So, for example, there's a picture of two kittens. One kitten seems to be nibbling on the ear of the other kitten. <laughs> or shall I say, biting the ear of the other kitten. Oh, dear. And we're supposed to look at this and think, try to live in harmony with one another. Ah. I don't know that it works. There's, <laughs> <laughs> there's a picture of a cat with, uh, with his eyes closed. And looking up, well, he would be looking up toward the sky, except his eyes are closed. Oh, yeah. And he seems to be very relaxed. Uh -huh. And it says, fresh air will lift your spirits. Okay. The picture of a cat hunting in the grass. It says, the chase is better than the catch. <laughs> okay. Now, this one I don't understand at all. There's a picture of just an orange cat in a window. And it says, embrace change. <laughs> what is that? Um, what, why? <laughs> what is the... I don't know. 
<laughs> I don't know why that is inspiring us to think that we should embrace change. Don't know. Yeah. Anyway, some of them work, some of them don't. <laughs> All right. Um, this comes from Willow Creek Press, and it'll cost you fourteen ninety nine for their not quite accurate combinations of words and pictures. Yeah, it's like it's like they had an idea, but they they didn't. They took pictures of cats, random pictures. Oh, they're random. Yeah, these pictures are random. Yeah, and they, yeah. It, and they 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 took random pictures, collected random pictures, and collected random. They're not even quotes. They're well, just yeah, sentences. Yes, cool. <laughs> they're, it's it's not any of the famous quotations about right. cats. They're just sentences that are sort of inspirational. Right, I suppose. right, right, right. And the cats are supposed to be demonstrating those ideas, but. But it doesn't work. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't work. Oh, we don't well. recommend this one. No. <laughs> okay. Um, here's one I thought was really interesting. It's the only calendar I found that are images of cats doing everyday or funny things, hmm. but they're not photographs. They're paintings. Okay. And they're paintings by someone named Lowell Herrero. And this is the 31st edition of this calendar. And I've <laughs> never seen this before. Wow. This is published by Lang. It's called American Cat. And I guess this painter, Lowell Herrero, is known for his um, paintings of cats, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, they are, it comes in a really fancy box thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It, I don't oh, know if you can. Okay. Yeah. 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 Super fancy, really thick. Uh, like I don't even know how else to describe it. But yeah, the calendar itself is not just wrapped in plastic like other calendars, shrink wrapped. Uh -huh. You know, it comes in this box sort of thing. And then um, every month is a reproduction of a painting by this artist, and they are definitely themed by season um, where it's appropriate. Yeah. Where it's appropriate. Okay. Um, you know, I think you'll like the October do, one yeah. very much and the December one. It's a cat by a Christmas tree. Um, but otherwise, I like May. May is a painting of a cat in a sink. Think <laughs> how many times have you taken a photograph yes. of a cat in a sink? Mm -hmm. Well, you don't have to anymore. There's a painting of one. You know, there's a painting of a cat sleeping. Wow. Right? Okay. A painting of a cat messed up with yarn a painting <laughs> of a cat on a bookshelf wow um, they're lovely i have to admit i was not aware of this yeah. artist um the best thing about this is that you can also purchase to go with your calendar a coordinating frame wow so you can get this you can purchase this wooden frame Oh. That goes around your calendar on the wall, <laughs> so it's as if you have the art at your house, even though it's just calendar reproductions yeah. of the art. Yeah, huh. so it's, it's very interesting. I don't even know that I've seen other calendars by this company. No, um, they say high quality linen embossed paper. Mm -hmm brass grommet to prevent calendar tear so normally you get a calendar it's just got that hole in it to stick a yeah. thumbtack yeah this one's going to be brass yeah so is there a price on this this will run you i don't know yeah that's another thing it's actually not even printed on it is yeah. it you would take this up to the counter at barnum and noble <laughs> and you might be expected to pay, I don't know, what do you think? I don't know. I mean, the most expensive one otherwise we've seen so far is $14.99. Yeah. Well, see, I noticed... I this noticed, has got to be at least $19.99, maybe even $22.99. I was going to say 20 bucks. I was going to say this one has a bonus. Oh, yeah. But I didn't, I didn't, I didn't quite see... Oh, yeah. No, with the purchase of this calendar, yeah. you get a download 
of all of the pictures in the calendar (laughs) that you can use as your desktop wallpaper or even a rotating sort of slideshow as your desktop wallpaper. Oh, yeah. No, this is the real deal. This is uh, this is what you're looking for in a cat calendar if you want to spend the money. Yeah. Um, But for this money, you're only getting 12 months. This is these Uh, people are not uh, trying to draw you in with an extra four or six months. (laughs) They know they have a quality product They do, and they do not need to give you anything extra. They're they're giving you look, they're giving you a URL where you can go buy a frame. Uh-huh. That fits his calendar, and without even doing that, they're giving you the download. They're like, I don't have to give you anything else. Yeah, that download doesn't cost them anything. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh boy. So I have I found two other calendars that use artwork, not photographs. Mm-hmm. But these are not of real cats. Yeah. No. There is, I did find the 2018 Get Fuzzy calendar. Get Fuzzy. The daily Get Fuzzy calendar where every day you get another Get Fuzzy comic strip. Previously published Get Fuzzy comic strip. Yes. uh, For you to giggle over, I suppose. This will cost you $14.99. It's put Mm -hmm. out by Andrews McNeil Publishing. That seems right. $14.99 for 365 days. It's probably also got that plastic that makes it whole sit up on your oh, desk, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. Um, and then another day by day calendar is um, also comes from Andrews McNeil Publishing, but it's images from the card game Exploding Kittens. Yes. Now, if you don't, if you don't want to see kittens explode. <laughs> I don't recommend playing this game. Uh-huh. Um, but I liked that on the front. This is this is their. Uh, this is their description of the calendar on the front. Mm. This is a 2018 calendar. It is not the record-breaking card game Exploding Kittens. It's made by the same people and features the same art. <laughs> but there's no way you could possibly play this calendar like a card game. Stop being dumb. <laughs> this is Max. Max can't go into the library. <laughs> Don't let Max into the library. <laughs> He, wanna, he wants to go in the library. <laughs> um, I I wonder if that's a thing, you know, that they, if people would think, oh, $14.99, that's a really good price for the Exploding Kittens card game. Yeah. But it's, it's a calendar. It's a calendar. <laughs> it's with the calendars in the store. Mm-hmm. It's not a card game. Right. You are not getting the deal on a card game. Yeah. You are getting a calendar. <laughs> so just so there's no confusion. Oh, boy. Um. That is some truth in advertising. I have a calendar over here that does not. Well, I guess it is a little truth in advertising, but not really. You know the onion? Yeah. Tim's familiar with the onion. They call themselves America's finest news source, but it's a a comedy newspaper. Get online. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, So they've done a daily calendar, which is the best of their news archives. It says so down here at the bottom, okay. the best of news archives. They don't want to put that at the top because what they put on the front of the calendar under the shrink wrap is a lovely photograph of a little white kitten with blue eyes sitting in a field of daffodils. So people would walk along and say, oh, kitten calendar, okay. right? 365 kittens. I love it. I'm going to get it. But what it really says on the front is the onion presents cat cell calendars. (laughs) Their idea is that people will see the kitten and pick it up. But actually, if you turn the calendar over, you'll see there are no cats or kittens on the back (laughs) and no reference to there even being a cat or kitten on the front. Oh, dear. Yeah, this That's is just, just uh, a ploy yeah. to. It says cat cell calendars delivers breaking headlines from America's finest. <laughs> <laughs> they're just they're just trying to get people to pick up their product in the store I'm to look sh- more closely at it. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure some of the some of the their calendars sold because of that, but um, 
But then again, not all of them. Not not everybody. No, I think people people might pick it up and be confused and then say, Oh, oh I get it. I get it. It's a joke. Right. And other people are looking for the onion calendar and yeah. they see the onion logo exactly. and they know what they're they know that's what they're looking for. And they get the joke as well. Yeah. Um this is published by Chronicle Books, which is a pretty high scale publisher okay. out of San Francisco. But even so, um this will only run you fourteen ninety nine, which is the same price as the other day by day desktop calendars. And I get a feeling there is a um, there's a standard for mm-hmm. this pricing. You know, if you go out of out of the realm of the pricing, someone's just going to pick a different calendar. Right. Also, based on previous publications, I found a 2018 wall calendar. Ah, yes. Um based on the book I Could Pee on This, which I think, again, is something that many cat fans have seen yeah. or even been given as a gift. I've seen it, yeah. It, do you have one? Uh, yeah, I think I do. It has been given to me now three times. <laughs> two of those times by my own mother. <laughs> She'd forgotten that oh, she already gave it to me. Oh, boy. Um, but th- this is a joke. Uh, this uh, author, Francesco, I don't even know how to say his last name. I'm going to let you. Oh. Francesco Marchuliano. All right. Sounds good. All right. So he published this book for our cat fans who haven't seen it, titled I Could Pee on This. And it's short poems that were purportedly written by cats. Mm. Of course, that's impossible. <laughs> Right. Uh, cats don't speak English. No. Yeah. Uh, but they're funny little, funny little poems um, about like shredding paper and, you know, unrolling toilet paper and mm. the types of things that cats do. Yeah. You know, um, an ode to my favorite chair to scratch or something like yeah. that. Yeah. And they're cute. Um, and that's what this is. It's a, it's a wall calendar. That just is reproducing some of those poems from the book. So okay. it's a picture of a cat with a poet next to them in the picture. That's really it. <laughs> okay. What I found interesting about this, and this is something I saw walking around looking at calendars. Some of them advertise 16-month calendar, 18-month calendar. This one just says 2018 wall calendar. But down here says includes September to December of 2017. Oh. So why wouldn't they advertise it as a 16-month calendar? I don't know. Maybe it's something that... A discerning customer? A discerning customer, thank you, is likely to to purchase that because it, it seems like it seems like you're getting more. Oh, I see. Months. I'm wondering if a real calendar connoisseur is like, no, I only want a 12 month calendar. Ah. I don't go in for this <laughs> laziness of the extra months. <laughs> right. I also don't like my calendars to overlap. Yeah. You know, uh, if you've got a 16 or 18 month calendar, you might might be too late into the next year before you realize I needed a new calendar. Yeah. And then then what have you done? Then what have you, you know? done? You got nothing. So um I think maybe like the real calendar connoisseurs, like I only buy 12 month calendars. Uh So for them, they're hiding it from them. That's it. Like you're really getting a 16 month calendar because this is also one from Chronicle books, a very high scale publishing company Mm -hmm. out of San Francisco. Uh, Again, it's the 1499, but for this, I don't know that I can recommend this. I think, well, it seems like, it seems like this is old. Yeah. Get the book. Yeah. If you don't have the book already, get the book. And what I don't like about it, it you know, if you, you're like, no, I hate books. I don't want a book. I just want a calendar. <laughs> okay. You know, maybe there's some people out there like that. This isn't the calendar you want because if you're hanging it on your wall, you're not up close to it all the time. Mm. Right. And the poems seem to be written in very small font. Okay. And so the picture you get that goes with it is also minimized because it's sharing that calendar space, space yeah. with the poem. If you want a picture of a cute cat, get one of these other things. <laughs> you yeah. know, um, if you want to read the poems, get the book. 
And if you don't like books, I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, I don't know. What to tell you. I don't have an option for you there. <laughs> now, also based on a book is the 2018 18 month calendar. They're not shy to tell you they're no. getting a um, better deal. Uh, based on Yoga Cats. Yoga Cats. Yeah. Which is um, a, based on the photography of Dan Boris, who has also done Yoga Dogs. Mm. Uh, but there are these um, books of photographs out there that you can get. Sure. Um, I think this is fun. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you look at the, because what this is, is these are pictures Dan Boris has caught with his high speed shutter mm -hmm. of cats just playing around. And then you take the picture and it looks like they're doing a yoga pose. Yeah. And uh, it's pretty darn cute. So, and same thing with the pictures of dogs that he has. And where I found this yoga cats calendar right next to it was the yoga dogs oh. calendar. So you can get that one if you like dogs better. Um, mm -hmm. If you like dogs better, you're probably not listening to this podcast. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> um, I really like, so each picture is, an individual portrait of a cat in a funny position uh, on a beautiful uh, highlighted color background. Uh -huh. um, and it could be a blue or a gold or a pink or a green. They're really lovely. Mm -hmm. And I think this on your wall, this single picture of a cat in a funny position, yeah. beautifully lit. <laughs> I think you could look at that all year. Sure. Some of these I don't think I'd want to look at all year. <laughs> okay. But this one I like. What yeah. do you think? Yeah, absolutely. Because I think from a distance they would look nice as well. He's set up to take pictures with cats in in there. In the studio. In the yeah. studio, yeah. But and it's 18 different cats. Yeah. He has found 18 different cats. Doing 18 doing totally this, still, different things. Still literally different yeah. things. Doing these different yoga poses. Yeah. It's very, very impressive. Yeah, it's incredible. Yeah. I really like this one, especially of this Siamese cat who <laughs> looks like she's doing a crazy pose. Yeah. But really, we know that this was just a high-speed picture of her sort of rolling to groom herself. Yeah. But it looks like an insane right. yoga pose. Yeah. Yeah, just because of, you know, the second at which he caught her. Mm -hmm. I also like that the these are actual cats, and the cat's name is on the month oh, with okay. them. Okay. So you know, like, that Siamese cat, her name is Tulip. Tulip. Yeah. Good. Like this one up here named Mr. Pete. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> you know, there's Cuddles. It's fun. There's... Oats, which is a funny name for a cat. Yeah. Bella, which we know is a oh, yeah. pretty common name for a cat. Actually, Bella's in a great pose. She's like in full splits. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> With her tail straight up in the back. Uh, yeah. And I could look at this for yeah, sure. sure. What I think is really funny, though, about this Yoga Cats 18-month calendar is that I also found a Yoga Kittens 18-month ah. calendar. The Yoga Cats calendar was at Barnes & Noble. The Yoga Kittens calendar was at Office Max. They are both 18-month calendars. Um, they're both photographs by Dan Boris. Oh. The only difference is you're going to get 18 months of kittens in funny <laughs> poses versus 18 months of grown cats That's true. in funny poses. So, again, if you prefer a kitten to a cat, there's an option out you there for you. To, yeah. yeah. This was published by a company named Brown Trout. That's uh which I think is weird. I don't know what a brown trout is, what it refers to. Mm. Maybe there were two guys. Okay. One named Brown, Brown. and one named <laughs> Trout. <laughs> Although again, Trout It's not really it's a, an unusual last is, name. Yeah. I might have to do some research on oh, that. Boy. Okay. Now we're moving on to a calendar based on an internet meme. Uh -huh. This also comes from Andrews McNeil Publishing. This is a daily calendar. 365 of these. It's called the Cat Shaming 2018 okay. calendar. For those of you who are familiar with this meme uh -huh. online, this is a 
picture of a cat, someone's real cat. Yep. They put a sign in front of them where they are admitting something <laughs> that bad that they do. That's yes. the only way. Yeah. Yeah. It's the only way to describe it. I guess it says it is a hilarious collection of photos from people who know just what you're going through when your cat behaves badly. Okay. Yeah. Featuring hilarious contributed photos from the popular Tumblr blog, the daily pages of the cat shaming 2018 calendar provide plenty of commiseration and comic relief for cat lovers everywhere. Mm. You also get a daily extra puzzles, jokes, lists, quotes, tips, and trivia wow. on backs of pages. So I guess <laughs> okay. as every page goes by, you then have something yeah, on the back of it. A, yeah, you have uh, a list to go through. Yeah, a puzzle to solve. <laughs> I, think, I think the word lists there is funny. Yeah. <laughs> lists of what? <laughs> I don't know. I guess that's nice that they're using both sides of the page. Yeah. And hopefully, if you get these, if you get these day by day desk calendars, I hope you're recycling. Yeah. Right? Because that's, that, that's a lot of paper to yeah. just throw in the trash. Is, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, there's also dog shaming. There's a calendar that sits right next to this on the display uh, at Barnes okay. and Noble. There's dog shaming. I think the dog shaming came first. Okay. Right? Um, you know, so for example, a cat shaming, in case people haven't seen this, what it is is there's a picture of a cat here, and in front of him, the humans have written on a card yeah. and written, I opened my human's fridge when she was on vacation and ruined $150 of food. <laughs> well, so the idea is that the cat is saying that. Yes. The cat's admitting to some bad behavior. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Oh well. Oh well. I mean, we all have cats that do things. I would never do this. No. I, I would never put a picture of one of my cats online with a <laughs> sign in front of him. <laughs> right. And I don't want this calendar. So if you were thinking of getting it for me, Tim, <laughs> please, please don't. Oh. Back to the drawing board. <laughs> 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 all right. Now. If you if you love the hilarious bad antics of cats, but but don't want to see them shamed for it, <laughs> okay. I suppose. Yeah. There is a calendar. This is a wall calendar, an 18-month wall calendar titled Bad Kitties. And it is the caption is celebrating good times and bad behavior. Uh -huh. So I I like that because when we're cat fans, when we love our cats, mm -hmm. the the, the so-called bad things they do are part of why we love them. Yes. Right? We don't need to shame them. Right. We just, we celebrate it. Yeah. And so this is a calendar that has some pretty darn cute photographs. <laughs> okay. Um, of like a cat laying in a pile of tissue paper that it's brought down to the floor. Yeah. I guess that's toilet paper. Yeah, unrolled the toilet paper and then made a bed out of it. Now, okay. my cats did this <laughs> a few times when they okay. were about a year and a half old. Uh -huh. And they figured out that the toilet paper was oh, fun yeah. to unroll. Yeah. And once they had it unrolled, they could kind of move it around and then lay in it. Because mm -hmm. that was very comfortable. Yeah. Right. So um, here's a kitten walking through the blinds, the window oh, blinds. Yeah. and sort of crunching them and folding them. Yeah. Um, here is, here's a kitten eating newspaper. Here's a kitten opening a door by himself. Here's a kitten who's gotten into his cat food. Oh. They're not all kittens. Some of them are grown cats, but, yeah. but uh, that's the idea. What's you this know? one here? That is a kitten uh, trying to groom a grown cat and oh. a grown cat not really enjoying it. <laughs> <laughs> here's here's a cat who's uh, knocked over a vase full of flowers and is chewing on them. Yeah. Yeah. Those are the kind of things they do in our house every day. Yeah, that's true. So um, this could make a fun wall calendar that everybody yeah, could enjoy. That. Sure. Um, or you could just watch your own cats. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. 
This will cost you $14.99 if you want it. This is uh, one of the ones I found at Office Max. Okay. So there you go. Bad kitties. This one of the cat, the front of the calendar is of a cat sitting on a toilet holding paper like it's a newspaper. And that does not seem like a real photo to me. No. It's not. That has to be staged, it right? It has to be. <laughs> yeah. And, I, and, and, and what's wrong with that? Staging it? Well, Sta no, not staging it. But what's, what's wrong, wrong with a cat with, sitting on the toilet yeah, reading some paper? Yeah, what's wrong with that? Yeah, that's not bad behavior. There's nothing wrong with that. No drinking out of the toilet. Well, sure. That would be bad behavior. <laughs> but no, just sitting on the toilet. It's not like somebody else is trying to use it. Yeah. That's a good point. Yeah. I don't know why that picture's in there. <laughs> Maybe because somebody went to the effort of creating the situation so. in which they got that photo? I guess so. I don't know. I don't know either, Tim. Mm. Um, that's what I've got. I've got some, some funny ones. Yeah. Some heartfelt ones. Um, some ones I can't recommend. No. Some ones I do recommend. Um, I would go back to definitely the American Cat one, the paintings. Mm, yeah. Those are beautiful. I also like Yoga Cats. Uh -huh. um, what did you, did anything catch your fancy here? Uh, yeah, I like the Yoga Cats and the Exploding Kittens calendar. Oh, Exploding Kittens would be fun. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, um, I don't know what... It, it, maybe it, it, what, maybe it's already been done, uh, or it hasn't been done yet, or it, it never will be done. Sure. But but I want to see the Keanu calendar. Oh, what a great idea! Well, because that that's what he did at the end of the movie, at, at the right? End of the movie, yeah. yeah. He was staging these yeah, things. All those things. Yeah. Why not actually publish Why it? Why not? I, I really thought in looking at calendars that I would find a Ketty calendar. Oh, yeah. Because Ketty, the documentary, was such a phenomenon in 2017. I really thought that they would have collected mm -hmm. still shots of those yeah, cats. That's, that's, maybe that's, they have, and they're just not selling it in America. Yeah, that's possible. That's possible. Um, I And also, I like, if you want a day-by-day -day calendar, I think the one, well, Exploding Kittens, if you like that, Otherwise, uh, kittens and friends, I think, is the way you want to go. Day by day, <laughs> yeah. a picture of a kitten with some other animal. <laughs> and it's going to be a surprise every day. That's every right. day. You're yeah. like, guinea pig, you know. <laughs> you know, or a Yorkshire Terrier. Oh, boy. You have no idea what you're going to find there. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. I think that's great. Yeah. So that's that's what I've got. Um, so what calendar are you going to use this year, Tim? I don't know. I have a lot to choose from. 17, I hear. 17. <laughs> plus uh, one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, plus one. I was, I was looking at this plus one one. Uh-huh. I mean, you know, it's nice. It's fine. It's fine. It's just, there's no theme. No. Just cats <laughs> overall. It's too huge. It's too huge of an idea. It is. You know, of course, the only other one we had that was just called cats was the little one that the magnet that you stick on the refrigerator. Oh, yeah. And so, you know, that's got its a whole other thing going for it. Right. Yeah. Right. I might be going with uh, the kittens and puppies. In the VFW calendar. In the, in the VFW calendar. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, and a uh, horse. Oh, and the horses. <laughs> Uh, that's really funny. <laughs> well, I, I, uh, every year enjoy the Alley Cat Allies yeah. calendar. I always have that up somewhere in the house. Um, so I'll, I'll look forward to that one again. Well, and that one, uh, it's, it's, it's good because people take pictures of their own cats. Yeah. Those are real cats in the world. Yeah. Same as yoga cats. Those are real cats in the world that yeah. were photographed by a professional photographer. So, very yeah. cool. Yeah. All right. So All right. if you didn't know what cat calendar to get for yourself this year, hopefully we've shed a little light on the topic <laughs> for you. Hopefully. And uh, 
and I guess don't go to Target to find one. We don't have them. Yeah. If you liked the sound of any of the ones we were talking about, um, hopefully uh, you either wrote it down or you can go back and um, which publisher we told you it was from. You can go find it online or you can go to your local bookseller and see if they mm. have it there. There you go. Yeah. Or if you're one of the people out there who your company buys you a calendar for the year, keep in mind some of these publishers that we mentioned to you because you might be able to get one for next year. Because okay. usually they, if a company buys you a desk calendar every year, yeah. you usually put in those orders like in August, September, pretty early. Okay. So, so keep in mind, jot down, maybe jot down in your, uh, in your phone, a reminder of some of the publishers we talked about here and you may go find them for next year. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But for 2018, these are your options right now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Anything else, Tim? I don't think so. All right. Well, I guess we should just go play with our cats. Go play with the cats. Bye. Bye.